we now are going to go and, and get a, a nice little um, analysis, let's say, of this compromise from the one and only Stephen Colbert. Mr. President, face the facts. Republicans just aren't that into you. You're so close to getting them to like you. So please, please, Mr. President, do not give up. Give more. Repeal the estate tax, increase defense spending, privatize Social Security, and who knows, someday, maybe the Republicans will love you. Or, or maybe not. But isn't it better to have loved and lost than to have fought and won? Oh, he sums it up so nicely there for the Democrats. Jeff Zeleny now joining us here in studio from the New York Times. Why don't you give us our take on this? How real is this rift between congressional Democrats and the White House? I think the rift right now at this point is very real. I mean, that statement that uh, you had on a few minutes ago from Senator Tom Harkin, that is really expressing sort of, you know, the moral outrage, the moral authority. But the White House is to be believed when they say, okay, like, what was our choice here? Come on, guys. We had the majority here. Right. We had nothing. This wasn't exactly something that crept up on them. I mean, they knew about this. So the reality is, like, this is the President Obama that I think we'll see next year. Uh, for all the talk of, you know, he's a liberal, he's an ideologue, you know, perhaps if he had his choice, but he doesn't. So this is sort of what we're seeing. So, yes, they're upset, but you know what? What are they going to do about it? Okay, well, flip it around. How upset is the White House with all the hand wringing up here? Yeah. You know, I think the White House is probably um, somewhat upset by this. I mean, how could they not be when, you know, a, a senator who's respected like Tom Harkin again has said something like that? Of course, the president, if he again had his choice, he would like to have done something different, but he doesn't have his choice here. So I think the White House hopes that uh, Vice President Biden can sort of, um, you know, uh, calm down some of this uh, rhetoric. We haven't heard yet from Speaker Pelosi. What is she going to say about this? Uh, I think the problems uh, um, on this are probably uh, harsher on the House side than the Senate side. Um, so uh, I think, you know, the next couple of days are going to be somewhat ugly. But, you know, again, uh, I think this is to be expected, and it's a sign of things to come, I guess. Uh, and the president, though, politically, he comes out of this, I think, pretty okay. Yeah, I think so, too, that he's able to then position himself as the compromiser, which is what Americans say they wanted to see more of. Right. The question, though, too, is what damage does this do with the president going forward? I mean, he still obviously needs to work with Senate Democrats and House Democrats if he's going to have any sort of ability to move his agenda forward. Without a doubt. And um, my guess is the argument is that, uh, you know, that they're going to try and treat these issues in a silo, if you will. I and mean, they're not going to lose all of the support of House Democrats or Senate Democrats just because of one thing. Right. And they are professionals. They can sort of look at things separately. Um, you know, perhaps this will give the White House, you know, some more uh, leeway on, 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 on some other issues. But it, it just exacerbates the, the finger pointing right after the election. Um, I think the next probably 72 hours might be fairly brutal after that. Um, you know, it's time for the uh, holidays. For the and Christmas time spirit. To exactly. Mm. So I, I've got to ask you about something that's just a pet peeve, okay? Uh, I hope you don't mind, Jeff. But um, uh, we, we talked here on the show about the Republicans getting ready to choose their new uh, committee chairman and the three who are in line for the Appropriations Committee. And Carl Hulse had, had a piece looking at this. I mean, these are some of the, the, the biggest spenders in, in Congress. Uh, quick, quick, quick thoughts on that. We now, we actually ran out of time. Sorry to say that. But make sure to come back next time. For top line, we'll get Jeff Zeleny's answer over the Twitter. What's your Twitter handle? At Jeff Zeleny. There we go.